All right then, so cards are a component used in most CSS frameworks. Bootstrap comes with them, Materialize does, Foundation I think, and others as well. And they're normally used in list of things, so to list products, recipes, blogs, or something else entirely. And they allow us to show normally an image, a bit of text, maybe a title, and some buttons or links at the bottom as well. So we can see an example of one right here with an image, a smaller image, a title, some text, and down here we have buttons at the bottom, some larger text. So there's loads of different variations of the card in Bulma, and notice all of them as well have a little border and a drop shadow just to give them some depth. So we're going to create some cards in our project for related products at the bottom right down here. So inside the code, I've already created a new section, a container inside that, and then an h3 for the title of this section that has a class of title has text centered and is size 4 and it's called related products so dead simple i'm going to save this and it looks something like this okay so all of the cards are going to go beneath that now they're going to sit inside a row so we need to use the columns layout here so what i'm going to do first of all is a div with a class of columns i'm also going to give this a class of MT-5 to give it some margin top. I want to give it a class of is-8 for the gap and if we're using the gap we need is-variable remember like so. Okay so that's our columns wrapper. Now inside here we want three columns so div.column and the column is going to be four columns in width on tablets and up so we'll say is-4-4 hyphen hyphen tablet but when it gets to desktop, I want it to be three columns in width. So is hyphen three hyphen desktop. All right. Okay, cool. So inside here, we now need a card. So to create a card, all we do is a div with a class of card like so. And then we place our content inside that. Now in our cards, we're going to have an image at the top, then some content underneath that, and then a card footer at the bottom for a link to view that product. So let's do div.card-image first of all. We're also going to say has-text-centered to center the image. And then finally, px-6 to give it some padding in the x direction. So inside here is where we'll ultimately have our image. Now we'll come back to the source later on. But if we save this so far, we should be able to see well, we can't really see it because the image doesn't exist. We'll preview this in a minute and hopefully it will look better then. So after the image, we'll do the card content. So div, we give this a class of card hyphen content. And then inside that, I want the price. So I'll do a P tag and then I'll say 1295. Then I want some kind of title. So P, give this a class of title and also is hyphen size hyphen five. And then we'll say Cortado Cup and save that. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So we can see the card now with a bit of content inside it. So after that, we want some links or just one link at the bottom. So for that, we do a card footer. So footer.card hyphen footer. And then inside this, I'm going to say we need a card footer item. So every kind of link that we have in the footer is going to be a card footer item. So p.card hyphen footer hyphen item. And then inside that we want an anchor tag. And in fact, I'm going to give this a class which is equal to has text hyphen gray. So it's got gray text and we'll say view product or just view in fact. So if we save this now, hopefully we'll see that at the bottom and we do. And if we wanted to, we could add different links as well. I could say dismiss or whatever, save that. And we can see two links at the bottom. We only want one. So let's get rid of that last one and save it. Okay, so we also want to have the images. So I'm going to scoot these in. And again, these are on my GitHub repo for this lesson. So we have P1, P2, and P3, all PNGs. So let's reference that first one right here. So it's in the assets folder, forward slash, oops, not product. It needs to be P1.png, and we'll just call this product. All right, so save it, and we should see that cup right there. It looks pretty good, that coffee. Okay, so that's the first one. 
let's now in fact just copy this twice because I want another two cards and let's change the details so the bottom one is p3 and the second one is p2 which is this one right here I want to also change the actual titles of these so the second one is not going to be a cortado cup it's going to be something else let's have a look at the image to see what this is save it and okay this is um light roast let's just call this docker light oops let's do this correctly light and then we'll call this one uh coffee crush or something like that don't know whether that exists but it sounds good coffee crush all right so if we save this okay so they look good however they're not sitting in the correct column so has something gone wrong yes it has that's because we've placed them all inside the same column right here so let me grab these and just cut them for now and let me now do another column first of all that was a schoolboy error so we need another column so let me say div dot column and the classes on these are going to be is hyphen four hyphen tablet and then is hyphen three hyphen desktop like so and then let me paste this back in we can take out the second card because that's going to go in the third column so this is our second one and then we need a final column so let's do that below this one div dot column dot is hyphen four hyphen tablet and then dot is hyphen three hyphen desktop like so and then paste in the last card hopefully this is going to look better yes it does so we have all of these cards right here and when we go to smaller screens they should take up four columns in width instead and then on mobiles they take up the full width and stack now two things first of all i don't want them to show on mobiles because they take forever to scroll through so i want to hide basically this whole section for mobiles and how do we do that well all i need to say is is hyphen hidden and then use one of those responsive classes and this one is going to be hyphen mobile so for mobile screens it's hidden save that and then when we get to desktop they should show or tablet even they show all right cool now one other thing i need to do on tablet they look fine they're kind of in the middle but on desktop because they're only taking up three columns each that's nine in total there's three columns left on the right now i want all of these to be sitting in the center of the page now i can easily do that in bulma by coming to the columns thing right here and then i just need to say is centered as a class like so save it and they should go in the center and they do awesome so now this is looking good for desktop and for tablets and for mobiles they're not showing okay so that my friends is how we create cards with bulma